Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffany Nails It. We're gonna do a one technique tutorial tonight. It's short, it's sweet, and it's one technique. Everybody wants to know how to do chunky glitter. This is how we do it. Let's get into it. I've got one amazing super chunky glitter dip. We're gonna make it smooth and beautiful tonight. It's Glitterazzi by Manny Moguls. It's beautiful, it's gonna go on our nails. We love it. You're also gonna need your regular dip liquids, your base, your activator, and your top coat, and a bunch of files to make it smooth. All right, let's go. I need my glasses because I'm old, <laughs> kind of going blind, it's all right. Do you have a cocktail? I have a cocktail. Let's I, take I a don't, drink of that. I don't have a cocktail. That's your fault. I do. It's all about me because it's Tiffany Nails <laughs> All right, so. You've got your beautiful glitter, you've got your nail, it's prepped, it's ready to go. Go ahead and take your base and paint your whole nail. Have a dotting tool or an orange stick available to run it around your cuticle line and sidewalls after you dip. I do not dip in, I'm gonna lay into the glitter. I'm gonna press my nail down into that glitter. It kind of helps the glitter to lay flat. Tap off your nail really well. It's already not too bad. It's already kind of laying flat. I take my finger and I kind of press that down into the base. Your base is super glue, so you're just kind of reinforcing the glitters down into that base. And I take this dotting tool and I always run it around because if there's overlapping glitters in that line, they're gonna kind of flick off because anything that doesn't is more that you've got to file later. So go ahead and flick that off and wait for it to dry. Might wanna give it one more press down. You want those glitters to lie flat. Any glitter that is sticking up, it, when you file it, if it's a darker glitter, you're gonna see the silver edge to that glitter. So you want them to lie as flat as you can. All right, we've got the first coat done. You're gonna take your brush. I go ahead and brush it really pretty vigorously. I don't care if a bunch of glitters come off. I want it to be um, as thin and devoid of extra stuff as possible. We're gonna do th maybe three thin coats, but probably just two of this glitter. Like I said, it's a chunky glitter dip. You shouldn't need more than two. I find that the second dip into the glitter uh, is a heavier dip anyway, but it's already looking beautiful, right? It's glitter. I love glitter. I have glitter on everything. Um, the cameraman often carries glitter to work with him. I, I do. <laughs> I've heard that you have glitter on you sometimes when you go to work. Is that not true? Um, it's true, people. Go ahead and run that around. Get that clean line going. Looks pretty good. I can feel a couple areas where we're gonna have to definitely do some filing here. But press that glitter down onto the nail as flat as you can. Yeah, that's it. That's it for the glitter. Now we're gonna do it with clear. All right, so what the clear does is it's like magic. It uh, will fill in all the divots. You know, that glitter is not even. If there's up and downs to it, there's kind of divots in the glitter. So it's gonna take more base and then you're gonna put it into the clear and that clear is gonna fill it all in because you're gonna file down everything that's sticking up and bring it all to one level. So you're probably gonna have to put on a fairly generous coat of base Make sure it's nice and down into all those kind of crags, nooks and crannies, right? And then we're gonna dip into clear. And it's not gonna look pretty right now. It's gonna look fuzzy and funky and this is gonna be the time in your manicure where you're like, oh gosh, this is gonna look terrible. But it's not, because just wait, we're gonna file the heck out of it. 
All right, that's it for the applying the dip process. We're gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. Go ahead and put on your activator. Your activator is gonna cure everything and then we're gonna start filing. And I might do two coats of activator to cure that just because glitter is kind of thick. We want it to be all dry when you go in with your files. So you activate and you wait for that to cure. And you probably take a drink of your cocktail while you're waiting for that to cure. I like to tap on it and it, you can start hearing it. It goes from like a soft sound and it winds up kind of sounding like an eggshell. And when it gets to that point, it's dry. It's usually about one to two minutes. Once this dries and it's nice and hard, you're gonna go in. This is where we make this smooth. You cannot do a glitter nail without extensive filing. It will not be beautiful, it will not be smooth, it will not be something you wanna be proud of. So let's go attack it with a bunch of files and make it beautiful. All right, that's a mess. Here we go, let's do it. Run that file around the back. As always, I have to, a safety bit so I don't hurt my cuticles. You want to take beautiful nail pictures, right? So nobody wants bloody cuticles. Remember, this is the first shaping of the nail. So you are just giving it its basic shape and making it fairly smooth. This is so important when you're doing glitter. You know, if you're doing just a regular color, you may get away with not a lot of filing. But when you're doing chunky, chunky glitter, you're gonna have to file if you want a good result. Look down that nail. If you want more on filing, you can look at my quick tutorial on filing. really does not take too long taking all the chunks out trying to make that nail thick toward that one third down tapering off at the back and at the tip that's really all you need to do with your drill all right guys uh take your hand file and now it's time to hand file all around the sidewalls, all around the back of the cuticle and the tip. This is where you're gonna take this kind of blobby nail and we're gonna make it look gorgeous. Here we go. Straight across for me, I like a ballerina or coffin shaped nail. So nice and straight. And then we're gonna do the sides. You're gonna go from the thickest part of the nail and make it thinner at the tip almost like you're going toward a triangle. And then run that file all the way around. I've got a broken in file. It doesn't hurt me to go around my cuticle line like that. So make sure that when you're doing that, you're using a file that you've used before and it's nice and broken in and not sharp. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna run it down that nail because I want it to be super smooth because when I top coat it, I want it to be super shiny. I want it to look perfect, right? I really like uh, my finger as a tool to feeling my nail, to, to making it smooth to patting down glitter, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my dad's a painter, like in these really big million dollar homes and I used to work for him in the summer. And he would always tell me that use my fingers to make sure that stuff was smooth and all beautiful. So thanks dad, works with nails too. 
So I'm happy with that. It's my second filing. I've done the e-file. I've done the hand file. Now I'm gonna finish off with a buffer. And also, doesn't take too long. You're gonna go over that whole nail. Just like that. Turn your nails both ways. Look at how your nail looks to you from you looking down at your nail. Look at how your nail looks to everyone else when they see your hands. And when it looks good both ways, it's done. I'm telling you, no salon is ever gonna take as much bother to make your nails look as good as you are. So you're done filing, one more feel of that feels great. I'm gonna take a alcohol wipe and go ahead and clean that all off and make sure that what I've done is just perfect. The filing, the application, everything. It's kind of my last attempt here, my last chance at correcting anything before I commit to top coat. So I think that looks pretty good. I think I might go on this side and thin that out just a little bit more. You know, take your, use your eyes and, and go for balance. And if you see something that's not quite right, go back in and hit it now. This is the time to do it. So I love that. I think it's great and I think it's ready to be top coated. Just a couple more steps to go. Take my activator, go over that nail. I think that I will go ahead and activate this other nail that I've done and we'll top coat both. Just a quick top coat. And then I'm gonna, I use triple vitamin top coat. I don't need a lot of time between activator, clean it off and, and applying the top coat. So I'm gonna go right ahead and do it. So I'm gonna clean that nail off. I do that every time. If you have activator left on your nail, you're gonna contaminate your brush and make it hard. And I don't wanna spend any more money than I have to on all my liquids. So we clean that off. Here we go. Quick coats. One, two, three swipes on the first nail. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other nail real quick. And then I'm gonna go back and do the second coat of top coat on that nail. This is the coat that you wanna make it nice and complete. Make sure everything's covered. Cap your tip, let it dry. We're gonna come back in one minute, put some cuticle oil on it and see how beautiful it is. All right, check back in a minute. All right, you guys, that was how to do a glitter nail on Tiffany Nails It. Subscribe to this channel for lots more videos just like this. Let me know how your glitter nail went. I hope it came out super sparkly, super smooth, and super glittery just like it's supposed to. Come by next time. Let's have a drink and let's do nails on Tiffany Nails It.